Hey guys, this will be a December 2014 Reptile Slash Amphibian Room. Um, there's been a lot of changes um, from setups, new additions, and um, new places where I put the tanks and stuff. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here's my Firebelly Nuke tank. Um, I've got three Japanese Firebelly Nukes and one Chinese Firebelly Nuke Eft. Um, I just got them out um, to say, I mean, to show you guys. Um, I fed them. The water looks a little messy, but that's just them moving around and, you know, making the water a little dirty. Um, I took the filter out due to the, um, it just always gets clogged up and stuff, and it's not really useful. Um, just figured I'd do some water changes every month. Um, there's also a Chinese fire really new aft, like I mentioned, in here, which is not showing up right now. But anyway, they're all doing good. Um, we've got a ton of willow moss in, in the tank. Once this grows out a lot, I put them in other five ariums, so it comes in handy. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, here is my Eastern Tiger Salamander tank. Um, I actually added that fern back there from this tank, which I'll talk about later. Um, and I added some moss to keep the humidity higher. And there's the salamander way back there. Um, his water bowl is currently empty since I was moving around the tank um, earlier and stuff. So um, I will have to fill that up. But anyway, his tank looks a little better with the fern. And also, that's his new tank. And here, I've got my... Japanese, I mean, sorry, the Tokyo Salamander. Um, it's a little baby, which I'll try to show you in a moment. So here he is right there. You can see him poking his head out. Um, he's still a little baby, and yet he's already a year old. Um, he's going to be more brownish colored when, once they're older, and um, this is his whole, whole setup. Um, I've got a ton of floating plants and live plants back there. I technically don't use any fake plants um, since I want it to have more humidity and, you know, to make the tank look more natural. Um, so that's his tank and the salamander. Here you could probably see him right around the middle, um, right there. There's my Bibron's Gecko. Um, he's got this really, really cool pattern. And white spots all over his back. Um, he's really good at eating and yet not good for handling. Um, I moved him into this Exoterra tall tank since it is a arboreal gecko more than a land-dwelling gecko. Um, he's got some neat looking Succulents placed in random spots at the moment. Um, I'm thinking to do a full reform or remodeling thing for this gecko sooner or later. He's got a uh, little hide there with a mat heater under underneath so he won't get too cold during, during the winter. So here's one of the most appealing tanks that I have. Um, it's just packed with moss and live plants. It looks so cool. Um, I did mention about that fern or something um, being in here before, and it was in that corner, but it got too overgrown. And if I were to keep my newt in here... <coughs> oh, yeah, I have a marble newt uh, aft in here. Anyway, um, if I were to keep that fern in here, it will be too much of a pain. So I moved it over there. Anyway, um... Here's the whole look of the tank. Looks really, really nice to me. Hopefully the moss and stuff will grow because I just added this kind of moss to the this area last night. So anyway, um, let me try getting the marble newt out for you guys. He's probably in that corner. Yep, there he is. So let me try getting him out in the open so you guys can have a better look of him. So here he is, um, he's still a little baby, but he's almost twice as big as the time that I got him, um, and it's only been two weeks. Um, he is, I forgot to mention that he is one of my new additions, 
Um, I will be showing you my other Neo Edition as well. Um, but this guy is really cool and cute and beautiful in the same time. So yeah, I'm feeding him pellets um, since it does carry some vitamins and stuff that's good for newts. And he seems to enjoy eating them, so that's why I feed him these pellets. Um, he's very cute. Once he grows a little bigger, um, I am thinking to feed him uh, slugs and stuff. Um, but at the moment, he's just eating pellets. So yeah, that's my marbled newt. In this tank, I have nothing. This was just my temporary tank for my Tokyo Salamander, which I showed you earlier. Um, I moved him back into there, uh, but I had this little guy in here for a while to um, get him used to the environment and stuff. But now he's in here, and all I need to do is wait for him to grow. And anyway, in here I've got my bearded dragon. Um, it's a... Um, translucent eye something something and um, I just really like bearded dragons and he's actually grown a lot he's very fat and active he loves to eat and <laughs> he sometimes does that when he's hungry but you're already so fat dude anyway um, here's my baby bearded dragon and his setup it's the largest tank that I have at the moment it should be big enough for him once he's full grown as well. I will be changing out the layout though since he will be too big for these thin branches. Anyway, that's him. Moving on. In here I've got my Gigi Skink, which has grown quite a bit as well since he came. Um, I'll try to get a good look of him. He's actually in that corner right there. Okay, here's my Gigi Skink, which came out to Basque. Um, he's got these really cool patterns, if you can tell. And he's actually in the middle of shed. Um, you can see the difference of the coloration from his tail. Um, and they do naturally like to hide underneath rocks, so that's how I made this tank for him. And he eats basically anything like bearded dragons. And he already ate up all the food that I left in here except for that red thing. <laughs> anyway, um, this is his setup. Got a ton of air plants and stuff in here. You can see those big ones and stuff. And I used, you guys might notice that I am just using the same tank where I had my Madagascan spiny tailed iguana in here before. Now he's move, he moved down there for now. And this is his setup. Uh, this is the Gigi Skink setup, and I do know that they are going to get big, so I'm keeping him in here. Below him, we've got my Madagascan Spiny-Tailed Iguana. Some people actually think that this guy is a Eurmastix, but it's completely different. They're closer to the Swift family. <laughs> Why are you sleeping like that, dude? And... Um... They're not even close to the Agama family at all, like the Eurmastix. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Eurmastix wouldn't even do this, and there's nothing like these guys for Eurmastix lizards. Anyway, uh, most of you can tell the difference, but um, a lot of lizards have tails like that, so just because you see a tail like that doesn't mean that they're Eurmastix. Anyway, this is his setup. I got him a new uh, basking bul bulb. The other one was pretty much crap. And he's got some live plants. That Those are pretty much dead, but I wanted it to be, you know, uh, have the brown look on them so that it'll look like a desert. Um, so that's his setup. And he actually grew up quite a lot since the time I got him. Um, so that's the Madagascan spiny-tailed iguana. Okay, and here I've got my oldest uh, reptile that I keep. He's five years old, and it's my leopard gecko stripey. He's definitely the cutest and most lovable out of all as well. 
since, you know, I've had him for five years. And before you comment about sand, I always say this, but I keep an eye on the sand. I feed him out of the tank um, or with tweezers so I don't get him impacted and surprisingly no impaction uh, stuff happened for five years, zero times total. So what do you expect? I'm still gonna keep it like this. Looks more natural, man. So that's Stripey, my leopard gecko. In here I have my Japanese clouded salamander baby. This one's even smaller than the other salamander I showed you earlier. You can see him right there. Mm -hmm. And he's pretty cute. He's grown a lot lately, and yet he's still so small. But yeah, he, they're pretty cool. Can't wait for this guy to grow up as well. Beneath them, we've got my AFT, um, the African Fat Tailed Gecko. Oh, what are you doing? And this guy just tried to attack my finger. I think he thought it was food. This one grew a lot. You can't even tell, but he is so big now. He's got this really beautiful coloration. Got to feed him more crickets though to get him to grow faster. And yeah, that's my little African fat-tailed gecko baby. And his tank. It's pretty boring at the moment, but it's just temporary. Um, beneath him, we've got my white tree frog tank, which I don't know where he's hiding at. Oh, there he is. Can't really see him because of all the plants, but he's back there, just chilling. Don't know what he's doing exactly, but he's just chilling there. This is his little vivarium. It's not anything special, it's just some pothos and stuff sticked into the uh, bottom of the tank with dirt, but yeah, it's good for now. So that's his tank. And. Uh, actually, I showed you all of my reptiles and amphibians, so I guess let's wrap this up. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, I'm, I think it was pretty long, but um, if you want to see more, please click the subscribe button, and I'll really appreciate it if you'd click the like button as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.